Wow, we're in it. We've done the payment, we've sorted out the road tax. I must admit, I'm a little bit scared. In at the deep end, eh? So let's go. You may be wondering why a vlog about motorhoming is kicking off with a train journey. That's because we don't have the motorhome yet. We're on our way to get it. I'm here with my little man, Eddie who's going to be my co-pilot on the way home. So two hours to get there, pick it up, two hours drive home. Let's see how it goes. Destination, ready to meet our the seller who's uh, picking us up and driving us back to where the van is. Wow, so we're in it, we've done the payment, we've sorted out the road tax, we are just about to set our navigation point. Eddie is getting comfortable in the back. Well, that was interesting. We've just um, gone about five or six miles down the road from where we bought the van. Um, but it was up and down and left and right, so we got a real sense of, uh, as you got a real sense of where we were like traveling and trying to sit at the table. And I felt like I was in the front seat of a roller coaster. So, a long way to go before we get home. And I'm using my phone to record and I'm using it for a sat nav. So there won't be much filming of all the beautiful red kites I've seen or the fields or um, anything else we've looked at. Uh, I wanted to just get home in one piece because I think we've got some troubles when we get back. So we're just we're about a mile away from home now and as we leave the little uh, van, I'll tell you its name later, uh, we've stopped off from some essentials, some toilet flush from these guys. So we're back. Fans around the corner at the moment, we've realised we've got two problems. One is the overhang on this tree, so I've spoken to the neighbour, he's happy to lop it off. So we've got Indy up there at the moment looking half precarious, he's very keen though. And then two, we've got a little driveway here that's quite steep and we don't know if we've got the clearance. There's a sea there. We don't know if we've got the we don't know if we've got the clearance for this driveway there. Might have to fashion something out of wood. Right now, this guy looks like he could fall off, so I'm going back to him. Didn't touch it at all. No pressure, dear. <laughs> happened again so just as we get something nice and new we have one child who's a little bit accident prone but all of them were all over the van yesterday in and out uh, every um, cupboard opening all the windows helping clean a little bit but also just exploring as kids do trying the blinds pulling on curtains <laughs> turning on taps and um, within 30 minutes of being back, literally under under 30 minutes, I would say, of being back, um, one of the little boys tried to close a window. I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you. So, the reason the blinds are up is because I can't, I can't, I can't look at it. <laughs> now, this little window up here in the cab, 
uh, isn't quite the same as the other windows that have a, a kind of deck chair almost ratchet system of pushing out, locking, pushing out further and coming in. This one pushes out uh, and then has a little dial to tighten and hold the hold the window out. Now, he, uh, he opened it correctly enough, but forgot to loosen it when he closed it. And um, yeah, this little flappy bit here, that little baby, according to some research I did on the internet last night, um, for a used window in a van like this, it could be two to three hundred pounds to replace it. So uh, the boys were banned from the van for a little bit last night. Anyway, you shall see how we try and resolve this issue. Um, it's either going to be glued, uh, replaced, or possibly just left because uh, it's just the inner plastic and not the outer plastic. So we're still watertight. Uh, it's just, it's just a bit ugly. There we go. I wonder what they can break next. Kid number two wanted to test out the awning. So you can see this beauty right above me. We wound that out, learned how to set up the legs here. Uh, it is a little bit um, dirty and stained. And although um, we advise not to use the jet wash anything, I'm tempted to try and jet wash this. We did discover as well, this is a good one. So we have a water tank. This particular model I think has a 100 litre water tank sitting under one of the benches inside. But what you do is you pull on site, you don't drive with 100 litres because obviously that's 100 kilos of extra weight. So you um, drive empty, you arrive on site and then you fill up from the uh, external water inlet, which is here. Turn that quarter turn, that's now unlocked. However, however, it just spins and spins, doesn't do anything. What I read last night was that possibly either the lock needs um, lubricating because it's been static, I think, um, or the inner and out, the inner part of the <laughs> inlet has come away. And so essentially, even though I've unlocked it, all that's happening is the outer part and the inner part are stuck together and the inner part is spinning around inside. Uh, and I've read about a technique for sorting this out, so we're gonna give that a go. <laughs> so, bit of a schoolboy error here. Uh, I even went so far as to take the screws out here and started examining the, the sealant and then thinking, hang on a minute, I don't know if I really wanna start resealing stuff and taking it apart maybe i should just check one more forum and i hate to say it but i think it's technique um because there's a lot of forums about spinning water inlets um but i just tried what one guy suggested and lo and behold i now have a water inlet that opens my next problem is i can't seem to put it back in one way to do it. Well, we found somewhere we can park for 24 hours for a nice overnight stay in Hopton Lane. And we're not too far from home. Like building? Yes! Here we are, we've taken the van out on its maiden voyage. We haven't gone too far, just a few miles down the road to the coast to Hayley Island. But it turns out that if you're seven meters long, um, you're not looked on so favorably. And the parking around here for cars is about 140 an hour, but for a motorhome, uh, we found out it was 15 pounds, regardless of how long you stay, whether it's an hour or two. So, we found some free parking further down the island, little walk through some woods to the beach, um, we're here enjoying the sunset while well, these two loonies are they really? They must be freezing. 
<laughs> Happy day!